Hello, everybody! Welcome back to C++ Programming. I am Root of the Null, and uh, in the last tutorial, we were looking at functions that had arguments. We had a very simple, very, very primitive, and kind of basic example, which is simply adding, and that took, a, that took advantage of the plus operator, the addition operator in C++, and I'm going to kind of revamp this. I'm going to go ahead and save a copy of my code here, and I'm going to rename this to 08, functions with default arguments. That's CPP. All right, so now, now that we have this renamed, uh, let's change up this function. Let's say int says who, I'm gonna actually make that void, void says who, and let's have a character um, name, which can only be one letter, or, uh, so yeah, person. Let's, let's change it, care person. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm stuttering. <laughs> I'm making a fool of myself. The character person, or char, and has a uh, int age. Now, you'll notice that I typed the um, equal sign here. I was using an assignment operator. And what that will do is it will set this argument age to be optional. It will have a default setting. By default, age can equal anything we tell it to be. It can equal zero. Age 20. And then let's just go, okay, see out person um, person age age says hello. This person, eh, whoever we pass, person A, person B, person C, person D, person X, whatever, he can have any age, which by default will be zero, like we know, will say hello. So now if I run says who inside of the main function, we need a person. That's a mandatory argument. It does not have a default value. It says who, let's say A. Now if I run this code, i get over to my terminator, g++08, let me just clear the screen here, and a dot out. Alright, I got an error here. What's going on? Alright, that's a pretty simple one. I just forgot my semicolon before the return zero in the main function. Okay, now let's get over here. Oh, I got another problem. Again, I just forgot the semicolon before the end of this function here and, and says who. Uh, after C out, actually let's add an end line over at the bottom here. Okay. Now we can run the code, hopefully. Nope, another problem. Okay, I see the problem. Um, this is kind of something that's we'll have to get we'll have to hint on in the future as we move on. In my says who call in the in the main function, I use um, two apostrophes for the quotation marks. I, I use two quotations. Um, we want to use a single quotation in the quotation marks because since this is just a single character. C and C++ would much rather it be a single character with a single quotation mark rather than um, multiple uh, quotations with, with two quotation marks, which could refer to a, a string, which is not what we mean. We mean a single character, so that's why it wants to use only a, a single quotation mark That's through its quotation marks. Now if we run the code, now it works. Okay. Person A, age zero, says hello. Okay, cool. It, by default, it's going to see that age is equal to zero. Although, we can pass in a value for it. We can say, person A is age 30, right? Person A, age 30, says hello. That works well. They can have a negative age. I mean, we can do whatever we want right now. We did not really, we did not really limit this, but person A, age 20, age negative 20, says hello. What if we did more with this? Right now, the age is the only default parameter. It has a default setting. We can change this to 20 if we wanted it to, and we can have, and we can remove this down here. Now, by default, a is a uh, now by default that person is age 20. But what I'm getting at is that the optional parameters typically appear last in the list of parameters in your function. You can have as many as you'd like, though. 
we can say, okay, character person, that can be A by default. Uh, he's going to be default age 20. What if we said X, person X, who's going to be age 45, can say hello. Person X, age 45, says hello. But if I remove that 45 age, by default, he's going to be age 20. Now what if I say, okay, he's not person X anymore. What if I just ran this without any arguments? It'll use the default ones, A and 20. Now if I run this code, person A, age 20, says hello. These are all the default arguments. If I had another arguments, sorry, if I had another argument like int id that is not optional, it cannot go in between these optional parameters. Let's check it out. Nope. Default argument missing for parameter 2, avoid says who, that sort of thing. It cannot go there. It could, ha it would have to go before all of that, because the optional parameters have to come last. Now that I have an ID, I'll actually pass that in. Even though we're not doing with it, doing anything with in the function, it's necessary because we actually require it in the function. I'll just pass in 1, and if I run this code, it works just fine, but it's still using the default values for person A, right up there, and it's using the default age, 20, which we have right up there. That's how it works. Just have some optional parameters, optional settings, optional arguments, and uh, they have to be in a specific position in the function list, but they are very, very helpful. Trust me. <laughs> you as a programmer will know when the time comes that optional parameters are an awesome thing. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.